week's competitors are Sweet and Kazan. And now, here's your host that catches Frisbees in his teeth, Will Schreiner. Yes, I do. Hi, everybody. I'm Will Schreiner, and as Dean says, I can catch a Frisbee in my teeth, but I won't try it today because these are dentures. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the only show that chases parked cars. It's That's My Dog. We're glad you're here. Let's get started. Let's go this way. Time for a little bit of doggy dress up. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is where our dogs get dressed up for the show, and they will have a total of 60 seconds to just carry as many clothes as they can down to their masters. Let me have 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. All right, they're off. It's Kazan and Sweet. They get five points for every article of clothing that they put on. So, whoa! They run back and forth. Oh! Sometimes the dogs like the clothes that the other dog's wearing. Sweet, sweet. You know, sometimes the dogs, just like the clothes that the other dog are wearing, they get very jealous of the whole thing. Sweet just didn't like this Jerry Garcia thing working here. But uh, anyway, it looks like Sweet's picked up 15 points, but Kazan got 25 points. Nice start. We're off and running. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we will meet the dogs up close and personal. Right after these messages. It's time for today's That's My Dog Pup Quiz. True or false, the Doberman Pinscher was named after a tax collector named Louis Doberman. True, the Doberman Pinscher was in fact named after Louis Doberman. Hi there, welcome back to That's My Dog. We have a great competition going on. Sweets here with 15 points. Kazan in the lead with 25 points. Now is the moment that I live for. It's where we meet the stars of the show. My buddies, my pals, the dogs. Dean, tell us about Kazan. Okay, well, Kazan is a five-year-old Siberian husky who opens the living room curtains and watches planes in the sky. Kazan has brought her family with her. Please welcome the Higgins, Sandy, Dan, and Eric. She is so pretty. You can see her eyes. Can you get a shot of those eyes? Look at those eyes. Those are contact lenses, by the way. <laughs> those are pretty eyes. Well, tell me a little something about Kazan. What does she like to do? Um, Kazan has a wonderful personality, and she likes to do all kinds of things. One of her favorite things is to get on my bed, and she opens the curtains. She found out she could uh, look outside and see the squirrels or planes, and she just enjoys life. <laughs> all right, well, nice to have you all on the show. Thank Good you luck know. to you. Now we're going to find out about your competitor, the captain of the opposing team. Dean, tell us about... Sweets. Okay. Hey, Sweets is a two-year-old border collie who will read over your shoulder, and he likes to sit for hours. Sweets has brought his family with him. Please welcome the wards, Christina, Elvin, and Pam. Tell me something about Sweets. Christina. Oh, she likes to read. She she'll, likes to read? She'll put her head and lie down, put her head right on your chest and read. What's her favorite pretend. book? Well, she likes all of them. Uh-huh. Pictures or, or, or uh, pictures. Picture, yep. picture books? All right, well, Sweet, you look really excited about the show. You look ready to play. Well, I'll get her attention as I bring out my co-host, Tiny. There's Tiny. All right, it looks like we're playing Doggy Limbo. Hey, Tiny? All right, Sweet, you ready to play some Limbo? Let's make our way over here to our Limbo Arena. Come on, Sweet. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Christina, Elvin, Pam, work this way. Go ahead. Well, here we 
are in Club Limbo. Club Limbo. Sweets and Christina, here's what you do to see how low the dog can go. Every one of these Limbo bars is worth a different pointage. Go under as many as you can. Rack up as many points as you can. 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, Limbo. Oh, under. Under. Maybe, uh... Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's see if there are springs in those legs. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Apparently, he wasn't paying attention. She, she wasn't paying attention. I said, no. under the limbo bar. Sweet. Christina, you picked up a number of points there, but uh, unfortunately, only sweets can do that. So let's see how many points is that? Four points. Oh, you picked up four points. Well, there's plenty of time to pick it up here. Now it's Kazen's turn. Sandy, you all set? Yes. You know how it works. 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go, Kazen. Go. Oh. Sandy had a little trouble with this hurdle, but you, <laughs> Kazan seemed to figure it out pretty good. Nice going. Let's see how you did. Let's look. Well, it looks like you picked up 11 points right there. That gives you a total of 36 points for Kazan. Sweets with 19. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we make our way upstage to the Tangle Terrier Turnpike, located back this way. Come with me. It's up here. This is where it happens. It's the maze. We have, oh, all kinds of distractions back here to get the dog's attention. But it'll eventually all end up right over here at the finish line where Christina is in the doghouse. All right, Christina, here's what happens. If both dogs make it through the maze, they get 20 points. The one that does it faster gets a 10-point bonus. If they don't get through the maze, they get no points. Elvin, Pam, you guys ready over there? Ready. ready, Will. All right, we're ready at the finish, except the clock needs to have 60 seconds. That's ready. I don't know how I could be any more ready than ready, set, go. Sweet, 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 over here. Sweet, sweet, over here. Find Christina, sweet. Sweet, we're over here. Sweet. Sweet, over here. Over here, sweet. Oh, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet over here. Sweet, come on, baby. Christina, Christina, did you, did you hear Christina? She goes, sweets, left turn. Did she really understand that? She does. Well, you did great. You got three. You picked up 20 points. All right, now it's Kazan's turn. Dan and Eric, are you ready at the start? Yes, yes we will. All right, Sandy's ready here at the finish. 60 seconds on the clock -rooney. Ready, set, go. said you can't give a dog a bone. Trampling the dog food. And through. Come here. Come here, baby. Kazan. Kazan even brought us a little treat. He brought a bone from the chew toy collection, and he can have that as a present from me to Kazan. Thank you, Sandy. Nicely done. You picked up 20 points and the bonus. So you move in to the lead with 66 points. Sweets with 39. Ladies and gentlemen, when you thought lawn bowling was the most exciting spectator sport available, along comes the doggy bowl. Unbelievable. Come right back. We'll be there.
Doggy Bowl in Orlando, Florida. It's a great day for the Canine Championships. Two battling competitors head to head. Sweets takes on Kazan in a challenge to be Canine Champ. Let's go down to the field for the play by play with Will Schreiner. Will. All righty. Thank you, Dean. Tiny, it's time now for Bow Wow Bowlerama. Slobber on me just a little bit more. You know, you could use a breath mate. Just on an occasion. Okay. All right, Tiny. Tiny, I have to go play. I have to go play Bow Wow Bowling. I know you want to goof around, but the object of the game here, Christina, is to knock over all those pins. They're each worth two points. If you knock them all down, you get a 10-point bonus for 30 points. So I need to have 30 seconds on the clock if I could. Ready, set, go. Remember, don't cross the foul line. There we go. Christina, very nicely done. Okay, Sweets, let's have it back. I hate it when they chew up the pins like that. Well, Sweets picked up a perfect 30 points there. Congratulations. All right, that ends the first half of the doggy ball. Why don't we set up for the second half, and Dean will tell us our halftime update. Dean. Will, after four and a half events, the score is Sweets with 69 points and Kazan with 66. But there's still lots to go. Back to you, Will. All right, Dino. Well, as you can see, the excitement is so intense that Tiny just can't take it anymore. He's out. He's down. He's Oh, Tiny, we've woken him up. All right, Kazan, you ready to do this? 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, Dan? Ready, Eric? Ready, yes. Sandy? Yeah. Go. go. With one second to spare, Sandy, you knocked it down. You picked up a strike. You picked up 30 points. Congratulations. Nice Thank going, Kazan. All righty. Oh, wait a minute. The judges informed me that a couple of them, I guess you knocked down. Oh, I hit? Did you hit? That's what the judges say. So you get uh, nine, 18 points. There's one that was knocked down. Can't award you the strike. If it were up to me, Sandy, I'd give it to you. But our judges watch this show like a hawk, and they don't let anything like that slide by. So, with the score, Kazen's still in the lead with 84. Sweet with 69. We'll move on to the 100-point doggy decathlon, and we'll be back with that before the Hounds of Baskerville find Sherlock Holmes right after these messages. Come right back. Kazan's in the lead with 84. Sweets is trailing with 69 points, but now it's time for the big, the deciding event of today's show, the Doggy Decathlon. Behind me are 10 obstacles. Each obstacle is worth 10 points for a total of 100 points. What you do is you start here, you jump over the bone, then you go into the tunnel, then you work your way through the tunnel down here to the old lazy brown fox. You try to jump over him, and then you work your way over to the pup tent. Inside the pup tent and got the back, then you go around to the fire hydrant forest. You weave your way through the fire hydrant forest. Then you work down through the canine cavern. You come out at the windmill. Then you uh, jump over the hound hurdles there, up and down Mount Poochie, or Mount Poochie. There it is, up the bow, down the backside, over here. Then you come down to the fountain. Come here, buddy. Come here. Help me. Jump over the fountain for me. All right, then you finish up. All right, keep going. Through the big O. Come on, through the big O. Jump through there. And he makes it. Okay, go right over there. Thanks. Good job. All right, if they do all that, they pick up 100 points. It's that simple. So let's look over there. It looks as though Sweets is ready. Are you ready there, Sweets? Ready, Will. Okay, 100 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. Put on the brakes to through the tunnel. Trouble there at the fox. Over the fox. 
Christina, you did a great job. Real good time. You picked up 100 points. You have a total of 169 points. Way to go, everybody. Now it is Kazan's turn. Are you ready? Yes, yes Will. Will. All right, Sandy, Eric, here we go. 100 seconds on the clock. He needs nine to win this thing. Let's count along. Ready, set, go. There's one. There's two. There's three. He picked up 100 points. 184 points is your total. You won the game. Congratulations, Dean. Tell us what we won. Congratulations, Kazan. Won't you be excited when that's my dog truck pulls into your driveway with a year's supply of Kibbles and Bits. Kibbles and Bits lean and Kibbles and Bits jerky from Kennel Ration. Great tasting, crunchy, chewy dog food that has dogs everywhere saying, I'm going to give me some Kibbles and Bits. Plus, you and your dog will love your new kitchen. Kipton's Frost Clear Refrigerator Freezer with features designed to make food storage more convenient and a portable dishwasher with the ultimate in washing and drying systems. Plus, a gas range with an extra large self-cleaning oven and fuel-saving ignition from Gibson. And you'll also take home a new skateboard. Fairflex's Air Walker, a versatile skateboard with micro wheels and the Magnum inline skates with speed bearings plus safety pads and a helmet which meet industry safety standards from Veriflex. Plus, each of your family members will receive our Kibbles and Bits watch for good doggies. Back to you, Will. Well, that about wraps up our show. It's only time now for the big awards ceremony. Sweets, you picked up 169 points and a silver medal. Congratulations, Sweets. Hello, Tiny. Tiny is here to help us with the awards. You did a great job, though. Thank you, Christina, Pam, Elvin. Say hello to the other chipmunks for me. <laughs> you hear that, Elvin? Yeah, you hate it, don't you? I bet you do. But anyway, you guys were great. You did a great job. Here comes the silver medal for... There we go. All right. Thank you, Tiny. Okay, Tiny. He's just jealous because he didn't get the gold medal. You don't have it. Nah. He had it. It's covered with slobber. I'm about to hand it off to Kazan. Kazan, by the power vested in me by the wizard and all other people in Oz, I now pronounce you ruler of the gold, the gold medalist. The champion, the most beautiful dog in the Oh, 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 oh. How much for the dog? Not <laughs> enough. Money. Not enough. Congratulations, you did great. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, nice job. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing left to say but. Silver medal winners will receive Generation Pepperoni, the turkey snack sticks, dog slob, and beef, bacon, beef and cheese, and litter flavors. And remember, a pooch will do anything for a pepperoni. And you'll receive a new grill. The new thermal electric grill from Thermos looks great and cooks great. Its vacuum insulated dome seals in heat for real barbecue flavor from Thermos. And Supervision's portable handheld video game with giant tilt screen and portable TV link for easy TV connection. A new dimension to portable fun from Supervision. And both families receive Mr. Crystal's Australian shampoos for pets. All natural and non-toxic. Luxury shampoo with orange peel oil for killing fleas. Medicated shampoo for fighting dry, flaky problem skin. Mr. Crystal's available at Target stores.
This is Dean Muccio speaking for That's My Dog.